Thank you for tuning in to Terry Swoo videos. On today's video, I'm gonna do a where are they now on the beautiful 80s model, Tantiana Thumson. Now she's most known for the Michael Jackson music video, The Way You Make Me Feel, which premiered in 1988. And she got international recognition for appearing in this video. And she's also known for the short romance she had with Michael Jackson during the tour of 1988. Now, Tantiana Thumson was born on April 22nd, 1960 in Clearwater, Florida, from a Cuban father and a Cherokee Indian mother. So she's a multiracial woman. She's half Indian and she's half Cuban. A lot of people always thought she was half black, half white, but she's half Cuban, half Indian. And if you look at her childhood photos, very beautiful. She's always been very beautiful. And she started doing ballet as a teenager. And she was discovered by the modeling agency when she was 19 years old. But her modeling contract was to model in Japan because the American modeling agencies turned her down because they said she was too short. So between 1981 and 1986, she models in Japan. And then in 1986, she moves back to America and she moves to Los Angeles and she gets a small part as an extra in the movie Beach Street. And then in 1987 is when she's hired to star in The Way You Make Me Feel with Michael Jackson. Now, before she met Michael Jackson, she was always a huge fan of his. So she was shocked when she got the part. But when, when, she, when she first met Michael Jackson, he didn't really pay her no mind at first, but then they started becoming friends. They started becoming close. She goes on tour with Michael Jackson in the summer of 88, and she meets Katherine Jackson, the mother of Michael. And Katherine Jackson tells her that Michael Jackson is in love with her, and he wants to be with her. But she tells her that Michael never really expresses any type of affection for her in that matter. He only looks at her as a friend. When he flirts with her, he does it in a friendly manner. He doesn't do it in a, I want to be with her in a sexual way. And I think Katherine Jackson wanted her son to settle down with a woman because she was known for trying to hook Michael up with several different women. She hooked Michael Jackson up with Stephanie Mills in the 1970s. Stephanie Mills was Michael Jackson's first girlfriend. And Katherine Jackson is the person that introduced Stephanie Mills to Michael Jackson. The relationship with Stephanie Mills didn't work out. So all throughout the 80s, Michael Jackson was single. And I think Katherine Jackson wanted her son to settle down with a woman. And she looked at Tantiana as that woman that he was going to settle down with. But it didn't work out. He only looked at her as a friend. She looked at him as more than a friend. And I think she wanted more from him than friendship that he didn't want. Michael Jackson was pretty asexual. Any sign of an adult relationship may have quelled rumors about Michael's unusual interest in children. So, in 1987, Michael's mother came to his rescue, just as she'd set up her son with Teresa Gonsalves 13 years earlier. Catherine Jackson pinned her hopes on Tatiana Thompson, a dancer with stars in her eyes. Mrs. J told me that Michael spoke to her during the video one morning and expressed his love for me. She said, well, I know for a fact that Michael loved you. He was in love with you because when he was shooting the video with you one morning, I came to his room and he sat on the edge of the bed and I guess he looked very uh, maybe depressed or you know in thought I don't know and she said that she asked him what's wrong Michael what's wrong and he said well this this girl Tatiana I really like her I, I really have feelings for her but I don't what do I do mother and she said you know Michael just tell her talk to her just tell her 
I mean, if he's so crazy about me and he's this guy's in love with me, why doesn't he call me? Why doesn't he tell me or express, you know, his feelings to me? Why is everyone else telling me but him? I had been invited on tour with Michael and I took it upon myself to kind of change the routine a bit. Something just came over me. And then I looked into Michael's eyes and <laughs> the next thing I know, we're, we're locked in a kiss and his hands were on my hip. I remember backstage when I ran into his mother, Catherine, she greeted me with the warmest hug. The next person, that's pain I'll never forget. His manager, Frank DeLeo, gave me the most evil look. And um, that was it. I was off the tour. Frank DeLeo fired her from the tour when she changed the routine during the concert. And Catherine Jackson was really pissed off about it because she wanted her to stay on. But Michael Jackson didn't intervene after he fired her. And you never saw her again with Michael Jackson. That was the end of their relationship. And the fact that Michael Jackson didn't intervene shows that he didn't really care about her. He wasn't really into her because if he was really into her, he would have intervened and got her back on the tour. I'm surprised she didn't get bigger roles after this. She appeared as an extra on The Fresh Prince. She got little big parts here and there in different music videos and different TV shows, but she never got any major roles again. Considering how beautiful she is and how talented she is, I'm surprised she didn't get other parts after the Michael Jackson debacle. But today she's 60 years old. And as you can see, this woman is beautiful. She looks, still looks just as beautiful as she did in the 80s. I'm just glad to see that she's still alive and well. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment, rate, and subscribe.